Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24-7 and today we're going to be talking about things to change on your Shopify store. I'm actually going to be showing you one of my stores that I used to use. Now, I don't promote the products anymore, but I would recommend the theme, the layout, the designs, all of those factors to someone wanting to start a new store or wanting to try and fix their current stores like, you know, what can I do to make things look a little better graphically? And so we're going to hop in there in three, two, one. Alrighty guys, so we are now on the Shopify store. As you can see, it's called Viral Hot Products. I, like I said, I don't actually utilize this store anymore. It's in the beauty niche, which I personally don't really care to uh, do anymore. I had made a good percentage of money back when the black mask was really trending uh, earlier this year and into last year of early 2017, because maybe you're watching this 2018 uh, as we're approaching the end of the year here. But you know, the Black Mask was a very popular product. I sold a lot of those, and these types of products were the ones that I would sell um, with that niche. Now, of course, I could go deeper into the beauty niche myself, uh, but I just don't really feel like doing that because I don't really care too much about the beauty niche. So I, I took the, the product while it was hot and made some money, but I don't really care to expand that business because, uh, you know... I don't really care about beauty products that much personally, so I don't want to spend my time doing that. Uh, but it doesn't really matter what the niche is here. I'm just showing you that this is like a, how you could make a store look. So as you can see on the home page, you know, the colors, you want to go with a white backdrop. That is something that is going to be very visually appealing. And a lot of customers are going to be seeing your website from a phone. And so there, it you know, white is pretty much what Instagram uses for their kind of backdrop. So if you have a scrolling functionality on mobile or on desktop or whatever, you know, it's nice to make things look as if it's just another app. So that is how you can organize your products. Um, you want to have all of your top sellers obviously at the top here as you can see you want to order it by best selling so that when people go right to your homepage, they see those products and they are ready to order you don't want to be having all these crazy like graphics because at the end of the day you keep it simple that's what people order from and it looks clean and trustworthy that's another factor that people are going to be looking at is do the colors does everything look pretty trustworthy as you can see i also have a red uh sale like i've said this in other videos before you want to be making sure that on your websites you have red like discounted prices because believe it or not people are actually like really drawn to sale prices even though that's the normal price that you're selling it for People are drawn to a percentage off, and that red just makes them want to buy even more. It increases their heart rate. There's been studies done on that, that the color red increases heart rate, so you want to use that to you know try and get them to impulse purchase and buy on your site. It's going to help a lot when you're selling products, you know, because... Why not cater to human psychology? You know, it helps. You want to make more sales. You want to help people create that decision. That's something you can do. So let's actually click on one of these products here. Let's click on the black mask and take a look at the page here. So guaranteed safe checkout. Definitely want to have that here at the top of all of your product pages. Another thing, you're going to want to have a nice description, something actually describing the product, maybe how to use it if it's a beauty product, you know, how to actually apply the mask and stuff like that and different features of the product. You, you want to have this here, not only for SEO purposes, but also just because people trust things more when there's an actual description. On Amazon, you see products have descriptions. If you know Amazon sells really well, there's a reason why they have nice big descriptions. It's because people want to read a little into the product. They want to see what they're purchasing. They want to see what they're getting into. And the safe checkout thing is just another element that it, at least with with e-commerce, like at least with drop shipping stores, that's more important. Um, it's not as important on other types of niches and other types of stores, but within the drop shipping and selling physical products to a lot of people that maybe aren't as familiar with buying online necessarily, that's you're gonna want to see that. Like grandmas eat this stuff up. Okay, so that is the <laughs> yeah, yeah. You definitely want to have that on your site because that is going to give you a little bit more trustworthiness for the older demographics. You know, young people, they they they, they don't really care about that. You know, it's like they, they've already bought online. They know if they're ordering from a website that it's it's the checkout. They're not going to steal their credit card info, but old people still have this mentality that, oh, I don't want to get my credit card information stolen from, uh, you know, some website or whatever. But, I mean, it, I don't know. Young people don't have that problem as much as old people so, but the guaranteed safe checkout is great to add there. It's just an image. You can find these on Google images and you go ahead and copy paste that on your store. So next step also, uh, when you're having your products laid out, you're going to want to have these 
little icons here and then the checkout button is nice as well because some people they don't recognize that this is actually a checkout button as well see so if i click on products you click here it also takes you to the cart checkout page so if you have a checkout thing here and this is really just mostly important with older people you want to make your sites uh, when you're selling drop shipping products optimized for old people because when you're doing Facebook ads, when you're doing Instagram stuff, uh, not so much Instagram really, but a lot of Facebook, there's going to be 40s, 50s, 60s sometimes people ordering and you're going to want to make sure that the checkout is very identifiable, very obvious so that they know where to check out. It just helps a lot of times um, with the older demographics. Now, if, you're, if your demographic's younger, you don't have to worry about necessarily adding a checkout button here or adding the safe checkout thing either, but... It's just recommended if you know that you're going to be getting some older people buying your products as well. So, and then also at the top here, I also have this bar called Global Free Shipping Today. So it, it, that is something if you're going to be offering that, which I highly recommend because Global Free Shipping, you know, I got when I was running my store back, like I was saying before, when I was selling the Black Mass, I had a lot of people ordering from other countries. And so the Global Free Shipping was a big sell for them because they're like, okay, wow, I can get free shipping. And, you know, if I were from Amazon or other places, I don't necessarily even get that. And with AliExpress, it's very, very, very cheap. Sometimes, like, obviously, U.S. is usually the cheapest to ship. But even other countries, it may be a couple dollars more. But it's totally worth that to ship it from China to that other country to get that order fulfilled. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter where your customer is, as long as, you, as, long as you're able to ship them the product that is what you want to be doing. So if you can offer global free shipping, definitely recommend that. You want to have it just like a nice little bar at the top so people see it. You could also put it on your Instagram bio. That's something very popular. I see a lot of pages doing is saying global free shipping on their bios on Instagram. And you could even put that in the uh, ad copy as well. If you're doing Instagram influencers or even Facebook ads, you could also do that there. So that is some of the design elements that you want to have on your site. Uh, another thing is the icon here so this is the like logoing now obviously here it's just like typed out viral hot products you could have an actual logo it's not really that important what it looks like as long as it looks trustworthy and not some weirdo like miscolored image like you want to have your colors look pretty streamlined as you can see here i'm going with a black and white color palette and then like a red as the clickables now you could go with other color palettes too if you want to you could maybe change the font uh, you know, it's just all up to you with how you want to make your site look overall, but you know, keep it simple. It doesn't have to be crazy. You know, if you just keep it simple, you make sure you have those like nice product descriptions. You got lots of images, um, to display the product. You can just get those straight from AliExpress as well. I don't know why the heck this opened the image here. Uh, okay. So, you know, you can get those straight from AliExpress and with Oberlo, like I've said in other, uh, the other top top app video, Oberlo, definitely use that. But that will also give you these images imported automatically. So you don't have to like save them to your computer and then import them. But you still may have to do that for some products if they glitch out. But definitely get lots of images and stuff like that. But this is overall the look and feel of a very simple Shopify dropshipping store that does convert. If you want to use this type of look, you know, you could copy this video right here. I don't even, like I said, I don't use this store anymore, but this is the type of general look. And theme, and if you're wondering what um, theme this actually is, it is the default Shopify theme when you first make a store. Uh, this is going to be the theme that pops up for you. The colors are going to be drastically different, so you're going to have to change all those colors to make it look a certain way that you want it to. If you want to change it to black and gray and all that kind of stuff, you're going to have to go into your Shopify store settings and change all that kind of stuff. But this is a design that you could use for yourself, for your own store, if you want to change things to make it look a little cleaner. Obviously, there is endless different ways you can make your store look nice and clean, but this is just an example for today's video to show you um, something you could use for your store. There's lots of other things that look good as well, but that is today's video. Video. So guys, if you have not actually started your Shopify store yet, I do have a 14 day free trial link down in the description box below. If you want to support the channel, you go ahead and click that link down in the description. Subscribe to the channel. What the heck are you doing if you have not subscribed yet? Hit that notification bell. Hit that subscribe button so you get notified for future videos, uploads, and all of that good stuff. Hit that like button. Leave a comment if you have any questions, comments, concerns. 
But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. So I will see you in the next one. Peace out.